What's good YouTube? In this video, we have Mirage gameplay in ranked arenas. And in this video, we're gonna be playing on the map drop off. Now we're using Mirage, which is something that we never really do. Mirage is an underrated legend. A lot of people in my previous video was talking about who was the most underrated legend. And a lot of you guys said Mirage. In this gameplay, we have Mirage game. Now, the biggest reason why we wanted to use Mirage on this map drop off was because of his ult. Now, in this game, we are going to be talking or commentating while watching the video. That's something that I don't usually do. I don't watch the video when I commentate. So, in this game, we're going to be doing that. Now, I remember in this scenario, I thought I could pull my Mirage ult, but I got hit by the Seer Cube. Now, I forgot that the Seer Q does delay from using abilities when when you get hit by the Seer Q. Now, the purpose of this game or this video is to, you know, just talk and see, you know, anything that we can fix. Uh, we're going to point out our mistakes. We're going to point out things that we do good. We're going to point out our thoughts during the game and thoughts now, you know, post post game. So I remember I know here that we were trying to avoid that Seer Q. Seer is he's a frustrating legend to go against now i will admit he's the only reason this team had a chance against us uh just because of the seer q or not seer q seer q and his ult so uh here our teammates did work we really didn't do anything we popped the mirage ult because i think that mirage ult even if you're not there or doing anything honestly it helps out a lot because there's so many decoys that the enemies can look at the mirage decoy and it could throw them off while our teammates are shooting them on the side so yeah like i said we're going to be showing every round here this is a game that goes to sudden death i will say that um and now we have the mirage ult with hammer points i think that's big uh here you're going to see the enemies throw grenades that's one thing that's frustrating about this map you know everybody throws grenades we're just going to stall to wait until we we're able to use our ult See, that's one thing about playing Mirage that I don't really play him, but I take a lot of shots before throwing the ult. And that's something if I'm trying to get better, if I do play Mirage and I'm trying to get better with him, I need to get, I need to not let that happen, you know, taking shots before throwing ult. But our teammates do work, like I said. Uh, they get, they get our, we didn't even do anything, to be honest with y'all. Our teammates did the work there. Uh, towards the end of the video, we do a little bit more, but yeah, in, in, in these early rounds, we probably didn't do much. Now, I will say that this video or this game was played about three, was it three weeks ago? Maybe two weeks ago? I'm not sure. Yeah, it was played a while ago, so I'm kind of watching it for the first time. I don't remember everything that happens because it's been a while that I played this game. I do know here they go. This is the first time they throw the zero. And uh, the Seer ult just gives us problems here. Um, Seer on this map is just really good. Uh, we're forced to back up because they do have the Seer ult. Uh, we have to help our teammate here. Now looking back at this video, I definitely feel like we should have backed up, you know, let the Seer ult just expire. And then uh, after it expires, we could have just gone in or, oh, I think I already used my ult and I should have saved my ult. I think that's something that we talk about later in the rounds. Just wait for Seer to Seer's ult to expire and then go in there with a uh, Mirage ult or even Maggie ult too, because we do have a Maggie on the team. I will say when playing Mirage, no matter what map you're playing, uh, the best thing about Mirage is, is his ult. So always buy his ult. You can buy his ult every round. Now I will say it is a little, it's kind of expensive, but you have to buy it every round. That's the best thing about Mirage. Now here we know that they don't have Seer ult, so we have to take advantage on this round. We all swing on the Pathfinder, knock him instantly. And then here, now we start doing work. We take the Seer out, our teammate took out the Pathfinder. And now our teammates are just, you know, it's a 2v1, we got this, easy works. Now I do remember this round right here, and I wanna say that I do something that was very critical uh 
I should have changed what I did and that's something that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video uh, as a learning experience for myself to you know watch over again and see but um, you guys are gonna see what happens and I'll, I'll talk about it but here we do know that they're gonna have or they have Cyril because they they weren't able to use the last round so they have this round and so here we're just telling ourselves let the cereal expire and then we'll push in oh uh, yeah we just get knocked here uh, unfortunate here we do try to go for the uh revive because we have gold bag uh, now here we knock the bloodhound which is actually something i didn't know but this is the critical mistake that i made i, I was resing a teammate and I shouldn't have done that because if I was there to help our our, our Maggie, we would have knocked that, who was that, uh, Seer? We would have knocked that Seer and then our Maggie still would have been up and it would have been a 2v1 against the Pathfinder. So that was something that was, you know, a horrible idea on my part to try to go for the revive. And then also we saw the Pathfinder have a Devo, so we ended up choosing Devo. But yeah, this round we know they don't have Cyril again. So we're gonna try to do our best to take advantage on this round. I don't really remember what happened. Oh, okay. This round we just trade Nox here. Uh, it's a 2v2 right now, I'm pretty sure. Um. Okay, our teammate did get the Seer, which was clutch. They, uh, this, our lifeline won the 1v1. And here, hopefully, you know, we're hoping that lifeline could get the tap, which she does. Now, all we got to do is just look over and make sure that the Pathfinder isn't able to peek to down our teammate. And now it's a 3v1, and we should win this easily. I do think uh, Mirage on this map is low-key good. When it comes to drop off, uh, the reason being is because of his ult. I think if you could throw his ult, well, you can't throw his ult every round, and the fact that you could do that, you could just trick the enemies easily. Uh, so many footsteps, so many bodies of these decoys, uh, it'll throw off the enemies for sure. It's something that I kind of want to do more, like play Mirage more on this map drop off. But I do think that he's a lot better with uh, paired up with the Maggie. Now here again, we know that last round they didn't have Cyril, so this round they have Cyril. I'm telling y'all, this the only reason this team had a chance was because of the Cyril. So we, we're we're gonna try to do the same thing. Uh, hope to let this thing expire. Um, right here, I, I know right now. I remember playing this at this moment. I didn't like the position that I was in. Um, and I messed up here. I threw this decoy and this decoy was in my way Like I couldn't even shoot the person because this decoy was in my way <laughs> It's just a rookie move playing uh, Mirage right there uh, I, th I think right there I messed up. I don't think I called out that I was about to back up but I definitely left our Maggie which messed us up because They were able to I think double team the Maggie and that, I mean that that was just my fault there. I should have I should have stayed there to to prevent them from pushing that door. So now here is sudden death. We have gold bag. We have mirage old. We have a purple devo. Uh, we have everything, right? We have everything we need. And here the the thing that that, that made us you know know that we were going to win this game or believe that we we're going to win this game was the fact that. There was no Seer ult on this enemy team. I'm telling you, the only reason they were winning or had a chance was because of the Seer ult. But yeah, uh, we went all in here. No matter if there was nades or not, I remember the team was saying this. Just go all in. Don't don't stay back. Uh, because there was no ult from the Seer. And we had our Mirage ult, so we were able to push up. And with the Maggie ult. So that's what we have. We have positioning with this with this room, which is big time. You want to gain position in this room. You don't want to be the team to stay back. Um, that's something that I'm going to be talking about a lot with our uh, drop-off guide. 
that I'm gonna be coming out with. Now here, this Pathfinder was in a sneaky spot. I, I didn't, I was so frustrated when I saw the path there. And I remember playing the Sun Death game because I remember that this Pathfinder tried to do something and I remember calling them out and then we, yeah, you guys will see. But like I said, we have positioning. We're telling each other that the circle's favoring us. So just watch the doors. Don't let them double or triple swing us. Here, I, I'm, I'm wondering like, where's the Pathfinder? I see the Pathfinder trying to sneak. I let the Pathfinder know that I see him by shooting him. I wanted him to let him know. So he's over at our spot. I tell the teammates, push this like it's a 3v2 just push this and that's what we do we get an easy knock on the seer and then the bloodhound is over there uh, we're looking at our spawn just look for the pathfinder because pathfinder should have been there by now but he pathfinder was never to be seen and because of that we just 3v we just 3v1 the path easy win but yeah guys this is a game with mirage on drop off and this is a game or, or this is a video that's a little bit different with the commentary uh this is me watching the game trying to you know give advice uh point out things that we did bad point out things that we did good uh, just watching the game over uh just trying to learn at the end of the day you know i'm gonna learn from this video so Hopefully this video is helpful and hopefully this video is something that you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.